Good morning. Uh, I'm Seth McFarland, the host of the Oscars. Uh, if you don't know who I am, just pretend I'm Donny Osmond. You'll be fine. We'll get through this. Uh, it's a great honor to be here to announce the nominees. I'm not sure why uh, we don't wait till noon to do this, since the only people who are up right now are either flying or having surgery. Um, but I want to congratulate today's nominees and also to congratulate those who weren't nominated. You can stop doing interviews where you pretend that you had such a great time making the movie. <laughs> and here to help me out, since there's nothing creepier than a guy standing by himself in Hollywood at five in the morning, <laughs> is the lovely and talented Miss Emma Stone. Thank you, Seth. Emma Stone is the star of the new film Gangster Squad. That's, I'm not sure you're the star. That seems more like an ensemble piece to me, right? Just keep reading. The star of the new film Gangster Squad and is one of the brightest talents of her generation. Some say she's better than Meryl Streep. Who, who, who says that? I don't know. Nobody. A lot of people. <laughs> Let's just read the nominees. Okay. Okay. The nominees will be read in no particular order. For Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role, the nominees are Christoph Waltz in Django Unchained. He's won before. Philip Seymour Hoffman in The Master. He has won before. Robert De Niro in Silver Linings Playbook. He's won before. Alan Arkin in Argo. He has won before. And Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln. He's won before. Breath of fresh air in that category. For best original song, the nominees are Before My Time from Chasing Ice, music and lyric by Jay Ralph. Pie's Lullaby from Life of Pie, music by Michael Dana, lyric by Bombay Jayashri. Suddenly from Les Miserables, music by Claude Michel Schoenberg, lyric by Herbert Kretzmer and Alain Bublil. Everybody Needs a Best Friend from Ted. Music by Walter Murphy. <laughs> Lyric by Seth MacFarlane. And Skyfall from Skyfall. Music and lyric by Adele Adkins and Paul Epworth. Uh, that's kind of cool. I got nominated. Yeah, I like that. that. Cool. I, I, I get, I get to go to the Oscars. Yeah. Now. <laughs> you know, the uh, the MTV Awards once gave Michael Jackson a Lifetime Achievement Award just so he'd show up. So I'm not saying that's what's happening today, but I kind of am. I kind of am. All right, all right. The 2012 nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Supporting Role are Sally Field in Lincoln, Anne Hathaway in Les Miserables, Jackie Weaver in Silver Linings Playbook, Helen Hunt in The Sessions, and Amy Adams in The Master. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> For Best Animated Feature Film, the nominees are Frankenweenie, Tim Burton, The Pirates, Band of Misfits, Peter Lord, Wreck-It Ralph, Rich Moore, Paranorman, Sam Fell and Chris Butler, and Brave, Mark Andrews and Brenda Chapman. For Best Foreign Language Film, the nominees are From Austria, Amour. From Chile, No. From Canada, War Witch. From Denmark, A Royal Affair. And from Norway, Kontiki. Um, I, read, I read Amour was co-produced uh, in Austria and Germany, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the last time Austria and Germany got together and co-produced something, it was Hitler, but this is much better. <laughs> much better. Much highly, better. Highly recommended. So much highly better. Yeah. yeah. For adapted screenplay, we have Lucy Alibar and Ben Zeitlin for Beasts of the Southern Wild. Chris Terrio for Argo. Tony Kushner for Lincoln. David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook. And David McGee for Life of Pi. These are adapted screenplays, keep in mind. So that means the writers just basically copied stuff from Microsoft Word <laughs> and, and pasted it into Final Draft. So that's... For Best Original Screenplay, the nominees are John Gatons for Flight, Mark Bowl for Zero Dark Thirty, 
Quentin Tarantino for Django Unchained, Michael Haneke for Amour, and Wes Anderson and Roman Coppola for Moonrise Kingdom. For Best Achievement in Directing, the nominees are David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook, <laughs> Ang Lee for Life of Pi, Steven Spielberg for Lincoln, Michael Haneke for Amour, and Ben Zeitlin for Beasts of the Southern Wild. These are five people who are the very best at sitting in a chair watching other people make a movie. The nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role are Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln, Denzel Washington in Flight, Hugh Jackman in Les Miserables, Bradley Cooper in Silver Linings Playbook, and Joaquin Phoenix in The Master. This is just a, a little fun fact for you. Uh, Denzel's character was actually as drunk as half of the people who are up at this hour. Ah, yes. <laughs> Guilty. For, uh, for best performance by an actress in a leading role, the nominees are Naomi Watts in The Impossible, Jessica Chastain in Zero Dark Thirty, Jennifer Lawrence in Silver Linings Playbook, Emmanuel Riva in Amour, A. Wallace in The Beasts of the Southern Wild. At 85, Emmanuel Riva is the oldest Best Actress nominee in Oscar history. Quivenza A. Wallace is the youngest Best Actress nominee ever. She's nine. And finally, we are pleased to announce that the film selected as the Best Picture nominees for 2012 are Beasts of the Southern Wild, Dan Janvey, Josh Penn, and Michael Gottwald, producers. Silver Linings Playbook, Donna Gelati, Bruce Cohen, and Jonathan Gordon, producers. Zero Dark Thirty, Mark Bull, Catherine Bigelow, and Megan Ellison, producers. Lincoln, Steven Spielberg, and Kathleen Kennedy, producers. Les Miserables, Tim Bevan, Eric Fellner, Deborah Hayward, and Cameron McIntosh, producers. Life of Pi, Gil Netter, Ang Lee, and David Womark, producers. Amour, nominees to be determined. Django Unchained, Stacey Scher, Reginald Hudlin, and Pilar Savone, producers. And Argo, Grant Heslov, Ben Affleck, and George Clooney, producers. Argo has been nominated. Somebody tell Cranston he can unclench his teeth now. <laughs> Brian, I love you. Please join us at the Oscars Sunday, February 24th, to find out who will take home the Oscars. Congratulations to all the nominees. <laughs> Weekly editor Jess Pagel for their reaction to this year's nominees. And there were some surprises. Ben Affleck not nominated for Best Director. So yeah, Director is really a surprise. Lincoln leads the way with 12 nominations in all. Life of Pi with 11 comes up second. But I think the big shock is in Best Director. No, nothing for Catherine Bigelow for mm. Zero Dark Thirty. You talk about a movie that was really associated with its director. She gets passed over. And Ben Affleck for Argo. I think everybody expected him to get that also nod. Tom Hooper. Tom yes. Hooper, Les Miserables, got a Best Picture nomination. It was one of the nine. But, but he did sneak in on Best Director, Michael Haneke of Amour, which is a real thing. Exactly. And Ben Classics. Zeitlin from Beasts of the Southern Wild, which wound up doing really well, getting four nominations, including yeah. that wonderful Kvonzene. Best Actor. Yeah, I know, yes. Kvonzene. I think everybody excited to see her there. Everybody's really excited. Joaquin Phoenix in Best Actor is a bit of a surprise as well over John Hawks, I'd say, from the session. Well, especially because he's made it clear that it's not... It's not the highlight of his year. He's not. He can't wait to like get to to park his car in valet. Let's put it that way. So. And then we saw <laughs> in both supporting uh, actor and actress category. I mean, these are loaded categories this year. Well, you, yeah, yeah, they're you, really exciting. Yeah. You, well, you heard our uh, you know Seth and Emma noted that uh, everybody in best supporting actor has won it's an Oscar before. <laughs> and so. Jackie Weaver in supporting actress was a surprise from Silver Linings Playbook. I think a lot of I, I expected Maggie Smith mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. Best Exotic Marigold Hotel to get that. Spot. Nicole Kidman was also a possibility for the, the paper boy, but she's been nominated before Jackie Weaver for Human Nature, so she's a wonderful actress as well. So good showing for Silver Linings Playbook to wind up with uh, yeah, eight, eight together, nominations. Yeah. And I know, and I'm glad to nominees. see that, and I'm glad to see David O. Russell, who did not get a Directors Guild nomination right. for that movie, but he got an Oscar nomination. I'm glad to see it. But our still, our you know, our big movies are still very much in play. You know, obviously it's the director thing suggests that it might not be such clear sailing for Argo and for uh, Zero Dark Thirty, but you still have got Lincoln, you still have. Uh, 
certainly is very much a big part of the action. I think that it's with eleven. Yeah. And Life of Pi, really deserving. And I'm glad Ang Lee got got nominated as well. And that's with no actor nominations of any kind. <laughs> no actor. But this the all Tiger should have gotten something, don't you? The, uh, the Tiger was amazing. <laughs> uh, I, I think that all of this bodes really well for Lincoln, actually, mm -hmm. because going into this, I thought Zero Dark Thirty and Argo were kind of its stiffest competition. The fact that those the other directors did not get it, but Spielberg did, bodes well.